Hello and welcome to this Cinemagraph tutorial. My name is Jason Teal and today I'm going to turn this into this using this. Cue the music. What we're basically working on is sort of not necessarily a tutorial of sorts, but what I want to talk about is uh, a term that you can call maybe, I don't know, visual tension. Let's go with that, visual tension. And what that is, is basically when you're creating a cinemagraph, you don't want everything that can possibly be, um, you know, moving, moving. Okay, let's dive into a little bit more of visual tension. And I'm at my uh, Flixel page here, and this is part of it, and this is why I like uh, using Flixel over any other uh, medium, is because Flixel Cinemagraph Pro gives you access to this uh, portfolio. So when you upload your Cinemagraphs, they will appear, by clicking on them, a full embeddable HD Cinemagraph, just as you created. There's no compression here, there's nothing and it's infinitely looping and it's great for uh, things like this where I can actually just sit back and show you uh, without having to worry about my um, computer overheating or the video stopping for some reason. So what I'm talking today about is this sort of visual tension and by that I mean uh, if you look at this cinemagraph this is something that I've done um, uh, for an, a project that I'm doing with uh, coffee. And I've done a similar uh, coffee cinemagraph before, but I had both um, streams flowing. And I'll show you that one in a second. But what I want to draw your attention to is I purposely made the one stream constantly moving while freezing the other um, stream. And the reason I did that is to get that visual tension, that sense of well, okay this one is moving why is this one not moving and that and that sort of is the uh, attraction uh, to a cinemagraph so with this it really catches the eye and your eye jumps back and forth between moving and not moving subjects and there again is the beauty of cinemagraphs it draws your viewers it draws your uh, customers or clients right into the frame because their brain is getting tripped up on the fact that it's a photograph but wait something's moving it's not a graphic it's actually should be there and that's it so okay if we jump back into uh, the first uh, cinemagraph that I did uh, this one is is basically this pretty much the same angle uh, different cup, um, different coffee, but you can see that I've got both streams flowing. Now there is a bit of appeal to this as the uh, streams seem to constantly wiggle a little bit and it is a quite a popular uh, cinemagraph. However, the the issue is, is that um, if you just stumbled across this, number one, you wouldn't really notice the um, uh, streams wiggling or moving that much and then as well it just sort of looks like a looping video where because the cup is stationary everything else is and should be stationary you know there's no visual tension so again it's it's an alright uh, cinemagraph it's been quite popular but again what you want to achieve here is that visual tension so if we jump back um, into the the newer one uh, you know yeah it, it may not be as cro cropped in as tightly but what again what you got is this tension and that's what you're striving for now if if we go back to um, my uh, gallery here I'm gonna go through a couple of them and I want I really want to talk about this tension uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be food shots um, things like this can work. Uh, some people may view it as a uh, just a looping video. Um, but again, what we're looking at here is just that there's a ripple in the water and everything else is frozen. So 
Again, uh, on the visual tension, uh, this would be quite low, but it's something that people can put up on a um, on a billboard, and you know it it does lure people in because they're expecting. Well, if the water is moving, why aren't the trees moving? Things like that. Okay. Uh, so again, it's it's quite low on the tension, but again, that's what you're looking for in this style of cinemagraph. Um, Again, visual tension is is it should be played into where you have a lot of um, movement in some parts and not a lot of movement in some other parts. So let's, let's take a look at this one. Okay, this one was really tough to achieve because everybody was actually um, moving at the time. It was a very challenging thing. It actually ended up. Uh, burning a hole in my jacket uh, because of this huge fire. But again, here is a great example of visual tension. You have the fire burning in the background, yet everybody else, including this person right here, is not moving. And to me, this was one of the uh, better cinemagraphs I made at the time because of the high degree of visual tension. Everybody's frozen except for the fire. Now, um, again, looking through some of these, you can do the looping effect, but again, uh, you want to sort of balance it off. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't work. Again, but the best ones, uh, the ones that uh, seem to have the most impact are the ones that, okay, we have the steaming cup of hot coffee here. Why isn't the syrup moving? Okay. That again is a high degree of visual tension this is what draws people into a cinemagraph they they're looking at a great tasty plate of pancakes oh and the coffee cup is steaming away again you wouldn't have this sort of magical effect if i had had the looping um you know everything in motion that sort of thing okay so what you're really wanting to do is sort of examine your concept and think about where is the tension going so now that we've got we've sort of explored the visual tension here I, I just want to quickly give a shout out to my friends over at Flixel uh, because without them uh, these would not be possible and um, with your subscription you do get access to this page uh, of your own so when you upload uh, your cinemagraphs to Flixel, you get them put onto this, uh, what I'd call a portfolio page. And it really is awesome because you can click through and if you see on the bottom here, you can share directly, but you can also embed these um, high dynamic HD uh, cinemagraphs right into your blog posts. Um, if you click up here, uh, they are responsive, or you can do it a fixed um, uh, set size, and you can use HD. Uh, now, sometimes um, the HD, as you can see here, requires a Flixel Cloud plan. This is something that I would highly recommend because uh, when you are exporting um, these HD graphics and stuff like that, they tend to get a little bit compressed. Uh, using other sources or if you're trying to make a GIF or something. And these embed codes are magical and they're very, very easy to use. Anywhere that you can embed something, you can uh, pop these guys in and uh, it will appear in HD awesomeness. Okay, so with that being said, thank you very much. Uh, if you are looking at getting the Cloud Plus Apps plan, do use the coupon code uh, Jason Teal. I'll put it up here. And uh, again, please subscribe to this page. And as well, if you want to check out a full in-depth tutorial on how to make uh, cinemagraphs using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro, do check out my uh, teachable page at learn.jasonteal.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.